How's it going everybody? It's Mike here at Sunny Slope and today, well, we're putting this throttle body back on this uh, engine and see if we can get it to start or not. Now, I've already rebuilt the throttle body and I skipped that part because I was a little unsure how it was going to go. And these parts, they didn't look very good and I didn't think I was going to salvage them. So I was able to clean them up the best I could, but they sat in here for a very long time you can see how dark and dirty that is the injectors they they are smoked i just bought new ones i could have set these in and had them rebuilt but wasn't gonna waste time now we put everything back together new injectors new gaskets new relief valve all new setup right here and it went together fairly easy and it was the cleaning up and the removal of the gaskets that took so long. Now, if you wanted to see this come back together, there's videos on that. I figured I didn't want to be another million video out there doing the same thing. Uh, one thing I did learn is, oh, where it is. Oh, I got parts everywhere. This garage is an absolute mess. That always happens when I work on things, but... I bought a rebuild kit and only used about half of it, but I figured I'd get it all just in case I needed something. And one thing I almost overlooked before I started filming and putting this thing on was, I don't know if you could see it or not, we'll put it in the light here. Um, you get a good angle on it here. These uh, little Teflon washers that go on the back of the fuel lines or the fuel lines feeding through here. This goes back in the TBI bowl, uh, feeding the throttle body and uh, I was looking at them and I was wondering, do I have to put like a Teflon tape on these or do I have to do some kind of thread sealant? Well, I looked at my kit, looked at these really hard, contemplating it, uh, kind of went to a book, didn't really find anything in my book about it, So I, but I did find these in the rebuild kit. So I'm glad I didn't overlook this step because God, that would have sucked to put this all together and then had fuel leaking out the backside. So let's uh let's get this back together i can only put one in and then i have to go on the back side and put the other one in manually um as it's sitting on the top of the engine because these won't fit in the back of said uh holes right here so i'm gonna put the hardest one in first and then we'll uh put the easy one in manually on the back side people asked about cleaning out the fuel lines I didn't clean out the fuel lines. I didn't even blow them out. The reason for it is when I looked down the fuel line and I looked inside of these, there was no corrosion inside of these. Uh, I don't know if the gas had just evaporated and it didn't age inside the fuel line or the guy had it taken apart previously and the fuel line had been drained out, but all the gas that caused issues was sitting inside of the TBI. So I skipped that step. It may or may not bite me in the butt. We'll see. Uh, the good thing is, if it is clogged and dirty, I can just take my injectors out and they have screens on the front of them and I can clean those out and just suck all the stuff out of the fuel bowl. It's fairly easy to take apart, so I'm not really too worried about. And I got a fuel filter in line. So let's get this put together and see if we can get this thing started. Fingers crossed.
<laughs> all right well we got her in those uh those back fuel lines were really tricky and another thing i almost overlooked was the o-rings on the back of the fuel lines which i don't know if you noticed it in the time lapse but i did get them on but man they weren't lining up i had to actually take the tbi back off and get that driver's side fuel line to feed back into that grommet or that fitting there which kind of set me back a little bit I had to undo a little stuff but uh she's ready and i hope she starts and for those who aren't familiar with this truck real quick and those who are already subscribed and have been following me on this truck uh i apologize for going this over again but this is for anybody who's new watching this video this truck here used to be my truck when i was 17 and for like 25 years i haven't had it i only had it for about a year and a half when i was 17 long story short had to give it back i'll post a link to the video explaining the whole story but uh we wind up having to replace the fuel tank the filters on it the sending unit uh there was all kinds of wiring chopped up i'll also point post that last video up here so you can see everything but uh needless to say this is going to be this was my first truck this is going to be my son's first truck so we're trying to get it up and running, but it's just been nothing but fuel issues, fuel issues, fuel issues. And uh, as you can tell, front end's got a bunch of whiskey dents. There's a lot of rot in the floorboards and the, not floorboards, but the rockers. We still got to do brakes on the back side of this. All right. Well, I'll give my son the honors of starting it up for the first time. This truck hasn't ran in like 10 years, I think. Uh, <laughs> by the fuel, it looks like longer so. All right, jump in there. Let's see if it starts up. I'll keep an eye on the fuel. I hope it starts. Oh, stop. All right, shut it off. All right, get out. I got fuel leaking out somewhere. Uh, we got fuel pressure, so that's good. But fuel sprayed out there, and I don't know why. Oh man, always gotta be a little something. I don't know why that must have been too much pressure or something popped something in there, but it came out the fuel regulator here. So let's. I don't know what happened. I definitely smell gas though. Let me get some stuff back here in case it starts leaking really bad. I can. All right, all right. I've got some kind of leak on the back side. All right, well, let me uh, let me tear this back apart and see what's going on. Well, it's always something, guys. I, uh, I'm i not perfect. I don't ever claim to be perfect, and we all make mistakes, but uh, I seem to uh, forgot to put a gasket in, and it's on the fuel pressure regulator. But the good news is, is I do have it, and that's where it's coming out, so it's an easy fix. Um, that's what happens when you get in a hurry and you get excited to start something up. You kind of fix, uh, miss some steps. Um, I'm a shade cherry mechanic. I do have my faults, so uh, don't fault me on that. Let's uh, let's get this little guy on there and give it a shot. Oh boy! Well. <laughs> Another thing didn't go right. Even if I would have put that gasket on, it wouldn't have worked anyways because it was too big. So I just made one. Fortunate part is my son's gone now and he ain't gonna be able to start the truck for the first time. But let's uh let's jump in and give it a crank and let's hope no fuel spills everywhere. So I think I got it pretty much buttoned up. That was the only place that was leaking from, so I'm pretty confident that we're not gonna have any more fuel leaks. So let's get in and start it up. Oh, let's see here. I really wish I could be on the other side watching this. 
Let's check, make sure I ain't spraying fuel anywhere. Well, the pump built pressure. You think it's gonna start? Put in the comments, you think it's gonna start. I'll give you a second. Ugh, random wires. Oh, I'm not gonna look forward to cleaning all this stuff up this guy put in here, so. All right, ready? Battery's dead. Dude, if it ain't one thing, it's the other. Come on. How is this happening? I've had a charge on this battery the whole time. Oh, well, that'd be the reason. I guess you uh, you gotta put the battery, positive battery cable back on if you wanna start things. All right, one more time. Get in here real quick. Oh. It's kind of funny that, did anybody find it funny that clicked over with no positive battery cable connected? How did it get power? Oh, to the battery charger. Duh. All right, ready? You think I'm having more issues? It's alive! This is the first time this engine has ran in 10 years. I am finally. Oh, that's awesome. I've got some vacuum leaks to fix, that's for sure. But she's running, people. She's running. Let's give her a couple boom booms. Let's give her, let's give her a little bit of the beans. I haven't heard this truck run in 20 plus years. And no knocking, no nothing. All right, let's turn it off because I don't want to suck dirt down in that motor as much as I probably already have. So she's running people. She is 100% running. All I gotta do now is get those brakes going. I have to put new U-joints in because I had to drop the dry shaft and then you know, I got the dry shaft out. Might as well put new U-joints in. I'm probably gonna do the rear uh, seal uh, dry shaft seal the transmission just for the sure fact that this thing's been sitting forever. Oil change, tranny filter, I have a leak in the rear differential. And then uh, we'll put some tires on it and get her going and get her on the road. Now you guys can get out. Guys, get out, get out of here. The video's over. I appreciate you guys watching. She's running. I am stoked. I'll get an air filter on this. We'll get all this other stuff. Tune in. I probably won't videotape the brakes. Nobody wants to see me do brakes, but uh, when this thing starts driving on its own power, you guys will be there to see it. So see you in the next video, guys. Mm -hmm.